The pharaohs never disappeared and became the worldwide aristocracy, who never disappeared either and became the Freemasons, who ruled through a hidden totalitarian system called democracy, where the people can just and only vote and pick out one or two out of a list of other pharaohs and Freemasons, who afterwards can do as they please. The nobility had to hide their power into a hidden masonry because there were too many uprisings and revolutions going on against the elite. And as we all know from history, kings, queens and the entire aristocratic system tortured us in dungeons, raped our women and had our children starved to death by robbing the entire harvest for the pleasures in the castle. So here we can see the Pharaonic Tower of Atanor, which is a Pharaonic name. There are still pharaohs and statues in the gardens here in Italy. And down there below they burn people alive for uh, satanic rituals. They build a whole tower for this. Well this is the Torigani Tower of Atanor. You see the octagonal shape? Huh? Octagon. There it is. This was especially built um, for alchemy. And the nobility still lives there. Funny, eh? And this is what they did there. And probably still do. This is underneath the tower for alchemy. Whoa! And uh, the Marquis, so the aristocracy of Torrigiano, where the Atanor is in uh, Florence, they're having this statue in their garden. Well, what do you know? It's all pharaonic, the whole aristocracy, nobility, they are of pharaonic descent. That's why he's having it in his garden, I told you. The ancestors of the aristocracy, the pharaohs from Egypt, did the same things and also practiced satanic ritual sacrifice for any sort of entity with a beast's head on the statue. Here we can see a human sacrifice uh, done in ancient Egypt. And the Templars, who were no monks but they were second or third sons aristocracy, had their Baphomet and founded their kingdom in the Alps called Octogon, Switzerland. Today the descendants of the pharaohs nobility and the equally aristocratic Templars come together in their secret Freemason lodges where they still rule the world and logically never stop doing their ancient satanic practices as what they call slow death lift and other tortures and ab abominations. If someone dies, normally his or her soul instantly leaves the body to the home of souls and there's almost nothing that can come in between that process. Except when the process of dying is being slowed down over many hours or sometimes even many days, mostly using code o to t torture which is widely spread in Swiss torture detention centers, as a whole being added by a ceremony with pharaonic incantations for the sacrifice to a certain deity or and some goal, which might be a political issue of large importance, uh, leading to the eventual aim. Well, here we can see the lifting of the soul under torture, um, the um, the bird here is the uh, is the soul being lifted out here. There, you, there you go. Lifted out. And here we can see the symbol of the Templars. There, on the uh, um, the uh, vases, which is called the canopy, where the soul goes in. And here you can see it again. It's all it's all over on um, on the tanks in Iraq, the U.S. tanks, and 
Code O2T is the deprivation of oxygen to a near life threatening degree which is the easiest to regulate in order to create slow death lift. So I'll just punch pause if you want to read it. There you go. Just punch pause. This is what they're doing in Switzerland. The home of the Templars, Octagon. The subject is laid on a pharaonic Freemason altar and tied to it. Then the mouth is taped and the sub subject strangled with an ancient thousands of year, years old Egyptian belt. Then the person gets ritually strangled which is interrupted every time just before death and when a state of unconsciousness is reached then restarted when consciousness is back then repeat it over and over again where together with fear, stress, ritual incantations and physical fatigue the subject will be entirely worn out and with no more physical nor mental resistance that's why they prefer babies or young children because they don't have any resistance it's a lot easier and this is a real middle age um, thing here so when after hours or even days the end of the process is getting nearer the subject will be led into the sphere between life and death where the gap through the long extended process of dying the soul can be lifted out and be used for various black practices as mentioned before. So when I read in the newspaper that Marie Schluchter who was murdered on May 13th, 2013 in Octogon, Switzerland, the home of the Templars, was strangled with a belt, with a mouth taped, not raped or abused of, of otherwise, and her face misformed into a grim expression of fear and terror. Then I knew enough. You see, this bloke here, the Tolland man, still has the rope around his neck. This was a pharaonic ritual murder um, in Europe. It should be obvious that the strangling of a psychopathic maniac in rage hardly needs any additional tape over the mouth to prevent you from shouting. Nor would a madman, as Claude Dubois is being pictured in the media, while he's strangling the girl, liberates both hands to cut off the tape and then apply it in the middle of a psychotic rage. I mean, if you're being strangled, I mean, you can't shout anyway, can you now? It's a lie. So it says in the uh, French-speaking newspaper that... Um, her mouth was taped and uh, she was strangled. Well, just think about it, analyze it, folks. They will probably suicide the designated killer within the course of a few days or a few weeks, so he can never speak out anymore. Sending the dogs into the nearest two or three Freemason lodges would solve the case immediately. But this will never happen and instead they will probably send me the Swiss Nazi police again. Although this video has been published under the laws of the US First Amendment of at Palo Alto, California, where the YouTube server is. Therefore, not under the jurisdiction of any Swiss laws at all. But the Swiss Nazi Justice Department doesn't care about any laws and violates them all both their own laws and the international agreements. This whole country and its horrific history are built upon lies and crime against humanity. And Octogon is building three large concentration camps at the moment for immigrants at this very moment, for which they need more authority clearance to fill them up with 
the false flag psyop murder case of a young woman who was adopted from Madagascar when she was only two years old in exchange for a better future her real parents gave her away to octagon of the Templars the base of all evil if she would have stayed in Madagascar she would still be alive and singing on YouTube over there